Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the briefing on Thursday, the 9th of June. Um, we've always been wondering the last couple of days where this low pressure is going to sort of come across the UK. Uh, and certainly three or four days ago, we were looking at it on the charts and the BBC was saying as well that it would go right across us and it would be really, really windy on Thursday and Friday. But it looks like it's actually tracking a little bit further north uh, than first thought. Um, with the jet stream driving it slightly that way. Um, so it's not going to be quite so uh, brisk both today and tomorrow, but it is bringing in these frontal systems um, towards us, not very quickly, um, I must say, but yeah, they will get here at some point late today. Uh, what we got at the moment is the, the midday chart. We're in the, this air here. Uh, there's a small trough line going to go through us in probably hour, hour and a half's time with some rain on it that's pepped up a little bit. But after that, it should clear and uh, we should get a, a day's flying out of it with thickening cloud uh, later in the day as the uh, warm front comes through. Uh, reasonable spacing on the isobars, so not that windy, probably a little bit less windy than yesterday. Uh, I underestimated that slightly. It was 25 knots at flying heights. Um, but today, quite short tafts, same sort of wind the forecast yesterday, 278 knots. Um, few at four and a half, I think, you know, after that front, it might get soarable, or the trough line, it might get soarable for a bit. So we might see that. But what we're going to see is if you look at um, places like Gatwick, they're, they're sort of saying um, later in the evening, down to broken at 700 feet, um, and later on rain. So any time sort of after sort of five, six o'clock, potential for rain. Upper winds there, so this was 25 knots all through here in the channel yesterday and 15 uh, across the centre of the country. So I think we split the difference today, certainly 20 knots at flying heights, more or less westerly, I think. Um, they're saying a touch of south, but other forecasts are saying more or less westerly wind. The most most of the day and then swinging um, as the front comes towards us later in the day and in the evening. Sat pick shows this this line here is this is a line of rain uh, and then we'll be in the air after it here and the warm front is actually out here at the moment uh, west of Ireland so a little way away yet that we're looking at the weather that's that's really in here uh, after the rain goes through and there's the uh, the rain line moving fairly rapidly. Let's say I would think it's it's going to be here uh, probably within an hour. Um, certainly, uh, it'll stop us flying. I thought it was going to fizzle out, but it looks like it sort of pepped itself up a little bit um, in the last sort of swipe of the rainfall radar. So keep an eye on that one. And after that. It looks relatively clear in here. Should uh, should get some flying out of that. So temperature wise, um, 18, 19 degrees, I think, uh, for the afternoon. Fairly warm, fairly pleasant, but it will feel quite muggy. It's sort of beginnings of warm sector air, really. So dew points are uh, so fairly moist as well. It's got that sort of humid feel to it. The soundings, uh, looks okay. There's a, there's a 10 o'clock local sounding, looks fine. Looks like the front's gone through, hopefully. And it looks quite nice, but it seems to go downhill rapidly from there with cloud increasing. This doesn't look great, probably soaring under here up to about two and a half, three thousand feet. Um, and then three o'clock, that definitely looks a bit uh, a bit wobbly. So yeah, a little bit of a, a sort of contrasting forecast with the, the actuals and the predicted by the looks of it. Top Meteo, uh, they seem to be going with um, soarable in the morning. Um, 
that's 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and then then the weather starting to deteriorate. I think they might have got the timing on this this bit wrong, so it's hard to say really. Um, but sort of rain later. Uh, Sky site looking at a slightly different model. They're suggesting that the rain coming through a little bit earlier. That's 10 o'clock. And then by 12 o'clock, it's, it's going through and it's OK for the afternoon. Uh, and then it's deteriorating into the evening. So, folks, I think it's really see what happens after that uh, trough line goes through with the rain on it. And hopefully we'll get flying after that and uh, get some soaring for the afternoon but with thickening cloud i think uh, as the warm front comes through um airspace wise not really a lot um in our local area so nothing here to worry about uh, 16 and 23 are the usual things with southampton and and boscombe down so nothing going on there and that won't affect us down to the right to the southwest so really clear in, in the area out to the west of us and out to the northwest. No airspace issues. So jet movements, no, nope, nothing today. We've not heard anything so far. In theory, there's one possibly scheduled for tomorrow, but that's about it. So we've got the airfield to ourselves. Um, I'm thinking that we can actually go and get the gliders out uh, and get them DI'd hopefully get them to the launch point and then um, we'll see how the, the rain develops but tie everything down when the rain goes through uh, and we'll work at that principle uh, and I'll see you out there fairly shortly.